What's going on, subscribers and subscribers to be? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome for the first time. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about precious metal. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about precious metals and whether or not they're worth the investment. I basically have two types of answers for you guys today. There's a long answer and a short answer. I'm going to start with the long answer first. For starters, it kind of depends on why you're investing. In my opinion, when you're looking at precious metals, um, precious metals is more so a long-term quote-unquote investment. In the short term, they don't really move all that much. Every now and then, they will have a quick um, spike in price or a drop in price, but for the most part, they're relatively steady. So if, like I said, for the most part, precious metals are going to be for a long-term investment. The second thing that I like about precious metals is they provide a type of safety. Um, if you go back and you look at my video about the reason that I buy stocks, I talk about how when you buy stocks, you basically protect it against um, thieves in your home and things like that. When you're looking at gold, you're looking at safety on the other end. Gold is a thing that you can keep on you in the bank or you can bury it or whatever. But the thing that's safe about gold is that it is tangible. Unlike stocks or let's say Bitcoin or something like that, no type of computer error, no type of hacking or anything can affect how much gold you have on hand, especially if you have it on hand, like I said, and it's tangible. With that being said, I must also mention that when I'm talking about buying precious metals, I'm not talking about buying precious metal stocks or ETFs. I'm talking about purchasing the metal itself directly. All right, the third thing that I like about precious metals, I just stated it, um, I hope I spelled this correctly, but is that they're tangible. Um, like I said, you can have them on hand. If something was to happen, you have that money in your hand. If you have money in your savings account, you can't get it when the bank's closed. But if you have that gold on you, you have it, you can go swap it out at a um, gold shop or whatever metal swapping center you can have. The fourth thing that I like about precious metals is that there's a limited supply. Um, being that there's a limited supply, um, there's typically less manipulation that goes on with, with its value. Also, if you have a certain amount, you don't have to worry about your specific amount being depreciated because someone else is purchasing or someone has created artificial value. And the fifth thing, and probably the thing that I like most about precious metals is that they're a commodity. Um, other than the fact that they can be traded and used as money, precious metals, for the most part, they can be used in industry as well. Um, the majority of the five main precious metals are used in jewelry. They're used in electronics, cars, and things of that nature. And um, real briefly, I'm going to go through that when I talk about the main types of precious metals with you guys. All right, so there are five precious metals. I'm going to briefly explain them, show you guys the valuation and kind of, you know, how they look uh, and tell you why they're actually a commodity within different industries. I'm going to talk to you guys about these first three first and all together. Um, platinum, palladium, and rundium. Platinum, palladium, and rundium are all a part of the platinum family, the platinum group in the periodic table. The reason for that is because they all have similar characteristics. Platinum, palladium, and rundium are used for the most part in catalytic converters that are found in um, cars and other types of transportation. This metal has the ability to bind with different things at a rapid rate. Definitely look into that if you get a chance. So for that reason, all of them can be used for catalytic converters. The reason why the industries don't just use one of them is due to their unique features. Of those three, typically most industries prefer platinum. The only thing about platinum is platinum has an extremely high melting point. So it's hard to mold, it's hard to use, it's hard to bend, and also it's really expensive. In the past, palladium was a bit cheaper. It's now almost the same price. But um, palladium has a lower melting point. It's a lot easier to work with, and it still has a lot of those same features that platinum have that, that makes it um, worth using in those industries. Rundium has some of the same um, qualities as both of these two, but rundium is a bit cheaper. The reason that it's cheaper is because, um, first off, it has a high melting point, just like platinum, but it's also brittle when it's pure. So it can be used in as many situations as um, palladium and platinum. Now looking at these three individually, um, platinum is also used heavily in medicine. A lot of new cancer treatments and things like that are um, using platinum in their medicine. I actually worked on the thing called porphyrins, if you don't know what they are. They reversely combine with oxygen, kind of like the heme that's in our blood and the, um, I think it's magnesium that's in the chlorophyll in plants. 
where platinum is able to reversely bind with things. It can be attached to certain medical chemicals, inserted into the body, and then detached from those chemicals and, um, and then removed from the body. So yeah, definitely um, great for medicine. Palladium has some of those same uses, but it's mostly going to be used um, when you're looking when you're looking at those catalytic converters, and it's going to be used sometimes in jewelry. Platinum, well, actually all of these are going to be used in jewelry, but um, palladium is going to be used a little bit more in jewelry compared to platinum, being that it has a lower melting point. Rundium is used more so often in jewelry plating. The reason being is because it's cheaper than the two above it. Uh, but being that it's brittle, that plating does tarnish relatively quicker, so it will have to be replaced more often. But like I said, it is a cheaper alternative to both of those two. And lastly, I want to talk about the two most popular of the um, precious metals, and those are going to be gold and silver. The reason gold is so heavily used is because gold does not corrode. It resists corrosion and tarnishment kind of the same way that platinum does, but much, much better. Gold has a relatively low melting point, so it can be used for all type of different things. That's why you see it so um, often used in jewelry, and it's also used in electronics and computers for that same reason. Um, it's a great conductor for um, electronic connections, and like I said, it resists corrosions, so that connection can last a lot longer if, you, if you're plating whatever that connection is in gold. Silver, a bit like gold, um, is widely used because it has a relatively low melting point. You'll see it being used in anything from jewelry to forks, knives, earrings, all, all type of things. Um, like I said, it has a low melting point. It's a lot less rare than gold, so it's a more abundant supply of it that you can actually use. Um, it does, to an extent, resist tarnishing. Over time, if it gets wet, it does tarnish a bit, but silver does last a long time if you're using it in computer and electronic connections. So that just about wraps up my long answer about whether precious metals are worth investing in. And this is now gonna bring me to my short answer. Um, as far as investing, I would say that precious metals are not a great investment. If you look at how much they, their value increases over time, precious metal kind of keep up with or slightly beat um, the price of money if you were to add in inflation, which is a great store of value but not all that great for investing. Um, if you're going to invest, me personally, I would definitely choose stocks first, um, real estate, or a business, because they will give you a higher return on your investment, especially in a short amount of time and over a long period of time as well. But do keep in mind, like I said, gold is a great store of value, is a great store of uh, money, being that it does be inflation. When you're looking at business, stocks, and all that good stuff, they can be a bit more risky. So if you're trying to eliminate that risk and still save your money without inflation decreasing its value, you can definitely look into precious metals as a store for that investment. Also, there is the possibility for certain swings in these industries. If some of these metals are needed more for whatever new technology, it is a possibility for that, um, for that metal to increase in value. For me personally, I'm kind of backing out of the metals right now. I still like gold and silver, but as far as platinum, palladium, and rundium, I'm kind of backing off of those right now because I'm noticing that companies such as Tesla um, are creating vehicles that do not require catalytic converters. And I'm not really sure as of right now how that is going to affect the price of those metals being that for palladium, platinum, and rundium, that's their number one use. So with that being said, um, if you're interested in buying um, gold or precious metals, silver or whatnot, I would definitely take, check out JM Bullion App Mix. There's a few other companies online um, that are great when it comes to that. Me personally, right now, I'm really enjoying investing in the stock market. So that's where I'm at right now when it comes to investments. If you're interested in getting into the stock market as well, and you're looking for an avenue to do so, below in the description, there's a Robinhood link. If you sign up through the link, um, you can trade stocks without any trading fees, and you'll get a free stock for using my link. Think of it kind of sort of as my gift to you for watching the whole video with this. And with that being said, thank you for your time and have a great day.
I'm about the bag, go get the money. Count that cat and back to the money, put that on repeat. Go get the bag, go get the bag, and now we coming. If you really about your money, put a dollar in the L. If you really about your hustle, put a dollar in the L. You ain't taking else for nothing, put a dollar in the L. You ain't got no hustle muscle, get the fuck up out of hell.